Hello everyone, I am Rohan Sarkar and I will be presenting our work on Outfit Transformer. I am a PhD student at Purdue and this work was done as part of my internship at Amazon. The motivation behind our work stems from two main tasks a fashion outfit recommendation system must be able to address. One is fashion compatibility prediction where the goal is to determine whether a set of fashion items in an outfit go well together in terms of a compatibility score and the other is large scale complementary item retrieval where the goal is to complete a partial outfit based on a target item description for example a top by finding a compatible item from a large database. Our framework that we call outfit transformer addresses both these tasks by learning an outfit level representation for a set of items. Using outfit level representations can more effectively capture complex feature correlations among multiple items in the outfit as opposed to considering pairs of items at a time as done frequently in prior work. The outfit representation learned in this manner is invariant to the order of items and the transformer is a suitable choice because it captures the higher order relationships beyond pairwise between all the items in the outfit and is able to take unordered sets as input. Our framework takes as input the item images and their text descriptions. We use uh, an image encoder and a text encoder to extract the image and text features and then concatenate them to generate an item feature vector for each of the items in the outfit. For the compatibility prediction task, we design an outfit token whose state at the output of the transformer encoder serves as the global outfit representation that captures higher order compatibility relationships between all the items in the outfit. The outfit representation is then subsequently fed into an MLP that predicts the final outfit compatibility score. Our framework is trained end to end using focal loss and we don't use positional encodings unlike PIT and NLP. For complementary item retrieval, uh, given a partial outfit and a target item specification, we train the transformer encoder to generate a target item embedding explicitly taking into consideration both compatibility with the partial outfit and the target item description. The learned target item embedding can then be used directly to retrieve complementary items using KNN search. The target item token includes an item description for the target item that we want to retrieve and an empty image. The intuition behind designing the target item token in this manner is that during inference the target item image is unknown but the users can easily provide a description for the item that they are searching for. Our framework is generic in the sense that the target item description can be provided in different forms such as category text description tags and so on. For retrieval, we first pre-train the network on the comp compatibility prediction task and then fine-tune using a proposed setwise ranking loss and we have observed that pre-training improves retrieval performance significantly. The state-of-the-art retrieval method CSNet uses the pairwise ranking loss that considers the pairwise compatibility of the target item with each individual item in the outfit. In contrast, our setwise ranking loss generates a single target item embedding that already captures the compatibility uh, relationships for a set of outfit items and hence does not require pairwise comparisons with individual outfit items. The setwise outfit ranking loss forces the target item embedding to move closer to the positive that matches the global style of the overall outfit and further apart from the negatives that are incompatible with the outfit. To evaluate our framework, we consider three established tasks from the literature. The first one is outfit compatibility prediction which is evaluated using AUC metric fill in the blank task where the goal is to select the best item matching the outfit among a fixed set of candidate choices and this is evaluated using accuracy and the last one is complementary item retrieval where the goal is to choose the best item from the entire database and this is evaluated using recall at top k we evaluated our method on the polyvore outfits dataset both on the disjoint and non-disjoint splits as we can see in table one our model outperforms the state-of-the-art methods on the compatible prediction task and on the FITB and complementary item retrieval task as can be seen in table 2. Our framework is also designed such that the users may specify their preference for the target item in the form of either a category or free-form text descriptions and we can retrieve complementary items that both match the partial outfit and the user specification. We now show some qualitative results generated by our framework for the partial outfit on the left and the target categories. This figure shows the top 10 retrieved complementary items and the ground truth is indicated by the green bounding box. 
Similarly, for each partial outfit, we show results for the same outfit and different types of text queries for jewelry on the left and for bags on the right. This figure shows the results of our framework for in the wild conversational queries. Thank you.